Hey guys, so this is a just an extended video based on the last video because a couple of you guys had a question about like how do we go about updating the font family or where do we go about changing the font family or the line height so on and so forth. So just as a uh, disclaimer, that particular video was just about type scale in terms of the font size. If you want to configure let's say any of the other properties, you can obviously go ahead and do them manually or there's also another great way of generating these styles, which is going to be much more simpler than that if you don't want to go through all of that effort. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my type scales plugin. I'm going to choose the font size of 14 like I did before. I'm going to choose the major second. And here we basically have our scales and I'm basically going to go ahead and bump up, bump that up to seven. So now I'm going to generate that. And now I have my heading one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the large and then the base small and extra small so I can also go ahead and just basically drag them out and I can convert them into a frame so I'm just converting them into a frame just so I can have that there and then imagine I wanted to create like let's say bold for all of these so I can press shift enter to select the container here then press enter to let's say command D to duplicate them right and then I can just press command B. Now basically all of the styles that I've created are now bolded. I can say, uh, I can just go ahead and rename this one and I can say this is going to be our heading one slash regular. Regular. So the first one is going to be regular as you see on the left. This one is going to be bold. And now you can go ahead, you can configure let's say the line height. For let's say headings you want to have like a 175% line height or maybe 150% or you can just say that I want to have a very specific line height maybe let's say 48 if you want to do that that's completely optional I also prefer to have the line height that's a solid multiple of 8 or 4 so you can do that too usually when you're let's say multiplying let's say a number like 32 which is already a multiple of eight sometimes these calculations actually land cl quite close to an eight point grid so I'm gonna say that this heading is gonna be 150 similarly all of these headings are gonna be 150 all imagine all of the headings are just gonna be 150 so instead of doing that manually I'm just gonna go ahead and I am gonna uh, just deselect it I'm gonna say uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start renaming these I'm gonna say this is gonna be my heading to regular and obviously this one will be bold as you can see I'm not creating styles at this point I'm just renaming the layers because we will create the styles based on the names of these layers I can say sorry I can say that this one is going to be our heading 3 slash regular and this one obviously is going to be the bold variation then heading sorry then heading 4 slash regular this one is going to be bold similarly heading 5 heading 5 slash regular this one is bold and heading 6 slash regular and I press the tab key to select the next element and here we are and then we have our large size large slash regular and then bold and then similarly here we're gonna go base slash regular and then this is gonna be our bold variation here we're gonna have small slash regular <coughs> press tab this is gonna be our bold similarly here we're gonna say this is gonna be our extra small slash regular and then press tab and just make it bold so we have our typography names created we can basically just go ahead and select all of them and now we can say generate <clears throat> um, you need to have a plugin textiles generator which you can I'm just gonna go to my browse plugins and you can say text styles generator sorry generator well actually it's here so you can actually go ahead and install this plugin and this basically allows you to create uh, the textiles even faster because you can just have the naming here and you can say generate textiles and once you do that as you can see all of the styles that I basically have are been generated on the on the right and I don't have to go ahead and manually do that right I don't have to go ahead and manually go to one each particular style and say okay create styles on and so forth 
And now what you can do is you, if you let's say want to modify the font size or sorry, the line height of all the headings or maybe even the font family of all the fonts that you have, like there's also another plugin called Batch Styler. In this particular plugin, you can basically select all of the fonts, all of the textiles that you've created and you can say the family for these textiles is going to be, I don't know, enter maybe. It's going to be enter and the weight is going to be regular bold. The sizes are going to be this and I can say, okay, maybe for the body sizes, I want to keep it at 120, but maybe for, let's say, the sizes for my headings, I want to have a 150% line height. And when I say update styles, as you can see my heading, all of my headings are now updated to 150, 150, 150, 150. All of the headings have been updated. It's just an easy way to go ahead and update all of your font sizes. I didn't do that with the font family. So I can go ahead and say all of these are going to be enter and I can just go ahead and say update styles. And now all of these font families are also going to be enter. And once you're, you've done that, you can basically follow the same plugin that I basically recommended yesterday, which was the typography style guide. And once you do that, it's basically going to go ahead and generate this for you. Now, there are other plugins that you can use to generate this quite easily with just one click. The other plugin that you can use is the automatic styles guide. What it does is it basically just generates a page with the style guide. I'm going to say automatic and let me just go ahead and delete this page. Let me delete this page. Sorry, not this page. So <clears throat> yeah, let me just delete this one. And now I can say automatic style guides and it's just automatically going to generate a page named styled guides. And this is going to have our typography. It would also generate styles for, let's say, the colors if we had any. But right now, it has basically just generated a bit more detailed uh, stuff about uh, our detailed style guide for our typography. If you like this layout, you can stick. You can go with this. If you like the previous one, you could probably stick with the previous one. But this obviously is not just about typography. It, it would also handle some of the other styles as well. So as you can see, we have the font enter, the weight is going to be regular and the line height is 150. And similarly, we have different weights here and different line heights for headings and different line heights for some of the uh, body sizes. And that's pretty much it. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.